Good morning guys, welcome to another weekly prep where I like to take you guys along on the fun and functional things we do on the weekends to create balance that sticks for our family. My name is Sarah, I am the mom to three little girls, ages six, three and a half, and nine months old. My husband is a busy chef and so our life is kind of chaotic. Just had the last day of school for my kindergartner and so now we are officially homeschooling family and I watch a little boy three days a week and I'm working on a lot behind the scenes for my work-life glue business and just really excited. So today, my two biggest daughters, three and a half and five, six, are at my parents. We had a picnic with my oldest daughter's kindergarten class at her teacher's farm last night and I grew up on a farm and it just brought so much nostalgia back to me and it was so beautiful. She had a creek, we did we looked at crayfish, jumped on the trampoline, had a picnic, did noodle necklaces, um, petted horses, pet the goats, we flew kites, they had a squirt gun fight. It was awesome. They found toads. It was amazing. I loved it so much. Um, so they, my oldest and my middle daughter ended up sleeping over at my mom's house um, because we are going on vacation next week. By the time you see this, we're already back. but. Anyway, we're going to stay on a farm um, called Stars Hollow Farm. Um, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan, you know why that caught my attention because Stars Hollow is the name of the town. It's in Iowa, it's an Airbnb. I will link it below if you guys are interested, but it was, well, I won't know. I don't know yet if it's fun, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun for our, just our little family for four nights. Anyway, so I have a lot I want to do around the house to get ready. Um, there's some outdoor stuff I want to do, spread some mulch. I want to get some sprinklers set up so our plants don't die while we are gone. Um, and then we have some errands to run and I want to just pop over and see a friend um, today too. So, and I'm getting my glasses that I, I ordered are in. So yeah, a lot to do. It's 6.30 right now. I thought Gwen might sleep in, but she did not. So, a lot to do this morning. I wanted to show you guys this super cute stack of books that um, one of our, I feel weird calling her a viewer, she's an online friend, Missy, made for us. Um, and I just love her. Her mom saw the names and said their names sound like poetry and I realized that's what I think we were going for when we named them. I just, as a former English teacher, English major, I just love words and I love names and so that was really cute so I if she has like an actual shop I will link it below it's super cute this little one is crawling everywhere pulling up on everything aren't you yeah and it was literally a hundred degrees yesterday in Minnesota which is not normal early June weather so that's been fun but yeah, I, I don't know, looking around the house, it's like there's so much to do. I have these Sterilite drawer, whatever, bit container things sitting in here. This is an idea I've seen before, but my one of my best friends is going on an RV trip for two weeks. And so she packed all her kids' clothes in one of these so they can just bring it with, like put it in the RV and then they don't have to unpack. So I realized... I thought that was a great idea for like if you're driving somewhere and staying there. I have, I'll have a bin for each girl for all their clothes. I'll have a bin for like our dry foods and then a bin for like games and stuff. I think I'll still pack our clothes in a suitcase and then unpack when we get there. But, um, but for like games and stuff, I thought that was such a good idea. And then we'll just stack them one by one in the van. I think that will work really well. Um, and then we literally just take them out, put them in the, the place we're staying, and then we're done unpacking all that stuff. So I just love that idea. And then we don't have to like go and like find everything and then put it back in a suitcase at the end. It's already like packed and unpacked and done. My husband is, I haven't vlogged for like a while, so I feel very talkative. Sand is working a double today. <laughs> It was my birthday week, it was my parents' anniversary week, it was our daughter's last day of school. Like, a lot going on this week, and of course, it's the one week that business has picked back up for him. So he's working eight days straight before our vacation. He's like stressed to go on our vacation, but what do you do? 
um, we were, we didn't know, you know, a few months ago when things would pick back up. And so he's working, like he went in at 5.30 and won't be home till late. So um, we're gonna celebrate my birthday at my parents tonight, the girls and I. So just life with a chef, getting back, getting used to how that works. But that's one of the main reasons why we decided to homeschool because he works a lot of weekends, random days, sometimes nights, hard to get time off. So we wanted our girls to see him as much as possible. Got this giant pile of mulch. I'm gonna re-mulch some areas. what is left of the mulch. So that a weed, but a lot here. Beautiful dragonfly. I also we laid a soaker hose over here for the trees and put it on a timer to water all these and then I just covered that with some mulch. It's now nine o'clock. Took my second shower in the last twelve hours. Hot. Um, I have all these library books that are going to go back to the library. I've shared this in a different vlog, but in case I didn't, if, in case you didn't see it, I love this new hack I have for families who get a lot of library books at one time, and especially when you got little kids and you're carting them in and you need your hands, you don't want to break your back. Um, I got this dolly that has this bag. Let me put it on. So Mr. Vanna White here. <laughs> gonna show it um so it just slides over the bars and it's got this velcro here um and so you can just fill it up with a bunch of books and then wheel it out to your car lift it up put it in your car wheel it into the library take them all out put new ones in and then wheel it back and you're not having to break your back it might look a little odd but it's better than trying to carry giant books bags of like 40 books you know or however many you like to get in one trip out to your car and everything at the library. Just stopped in and picked up my new glasses. So I'll probably go between, my vision hasn't changed at all. So I'll probably go between these and my other ones. May even order some online. I just found, I've tried one online store and while I liked the process and everything, the glasses, the frames broke like three times. And while they were only like $10 to replace, it still was like, really? And then I'd have to pop my, lenses out and I was scared I was gonna break them. But then I also got prescription sunglasses because I've never had, Quiddy, I've never had prescription sunglasses. I've had transition lenses before, but I just, I don't really like them. So I ordered some um, prescription sunglasses. I also have contacts I'm gonna try to wear once in a while just cause I like to mix it up, you know, but I get so used to my routine that I just honestly forget. But let me show you the sunglasses. So these are the prescription sunglasses. I loved these frames and like just regular um, glasses, but I didn't wanna, I didn't need three pairs of glasses for the price that you pay at um, the actual eye doctor, but um, they're really cute in sunglasses. So I really like these. Super quick lunch for Gwenny and I. She's having bread with banana, pickle, blueberries, I'm having my normal sandwich, some pepper, some hummus, and the rest of her banana. I picked up this, what is it, a rhododendron? Philodendron. Um, did I make up rhododendron? Is that a thing? Um, <laughs> at Lowe's. I just thought it was so pretty. I'm going to put it in our dining room on the little console table in front of the window. I was just out weeding and planting some flowers. I'll show you guys in our little strawberry planter. I feel like a new woman this summer. I think having gone through a really hard pregnancy during a pandemic last summer, 
I like could not keep anything alive last summer. I was so tired, like trying to water everything and stay on top of that was so hard. I've been watering everything every day, staying on top of it. I just feel, I feel like I have my body back. I have some sanity now. Um, I just feel like a new woman and I, I feel good. Um, and I feel like I can keep some plants alive in our house. I've been keeping this one alive. I've got a succulent downstairs. Slowly but surely we'll have some real plants in this house. Um, I'd love to know, like, those of you moms, when did you kind of get your groove of, like, being able to do things other than keep kids alive? I mean, granted, I've been running a business and working full-time up until last year. Um, so I guess I was doing a lot, but I just feel like the extra stuff, like... <sighs> trying to keep plants alive and stuff just was not even on my radar like I just wasn't even gonna try to add that to my plate but now I'm finding I really enjoy it and I'm liking it like it's something I'm doing because I enjoy doing it now because I feel like I have to do it if that makes sense I would love to know um it's about one o'clock Gwenny is down for her nap it is so hot here in Minnesota and I shouldn't complain because I I would take this weather over winter any day I would take 90 degree weather all year if it meant I didn't have to have winter, but I do enjoy like 70, 80 degrees, not 90, 100 plus degrees. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna, now that school is over, do some things to kind of wrap up the year, which I'll show you guys. Okay, so what I've got here are my two older girls school boxes basically I had somebody make these quite a few years ago she doesn't make them anymore unfortunately um, but she just put like a label for each year each age you could pick like what you wanted um, and there's extra ones so um, I have that and then I also have this first and last days of school I bought three of these last summer I will link to these below can't even remember where I bought them but um, these are awesome so in it, there's a place to put all their school pictures. So I need to corral all of those for Celia. You can have them write their name each year to see it progress, which is so cute. Um, little words of wisdom. This is great because you only really need to pull it out at the beginning and end of each school year. And so I have like, I filled out everything. And then you, I'm gonna print out pictures to put here. And then there's a little pocket. And then you can put their picture. It's the first day of school, last day, and I have pictures for that. So there's two preschool grades. There's a kindergarten and then all the way up through college. So I just think this is great. I plan to do this every year. So I'm going to work on these and getting it all filled out. And then all the artwork and stuff that we've saved, I'll put in these bins. And then we'll be fresh and clean starting from scratch. So here's where I keep everything. I go through this often, but it's just they bring home so much, which is one reason why I'm excited to homeschool. I love all the crafts, I love all the learning, but honestly, like, I just feel guilty getting rid of so much paper all the time. So I'm excited that hopefully there won't be quite as much with homeschooling, because we're gonna be doing a lot of more hands-on activities and less, like, stuff like this, which is fun and great learning, but um, there's lots of other ways to learn, too. And then while I'm printing out photos, I have this book for our baby. Each of our babies had one of these. Um, they can chew on it and stuff, and it's got nice black and white pictures if you don't put pictures in, but there's a sleeve in each one where you can put pictures of like family and friends and stuff so your baby can look at it, learn their names. I love these, so I'm gonna print out photos for that as well. And then there's this stuff, which I love, but it's like, what do I do with it now? You know? Uh, I don't know. Like, I can only hang up so much in her room. But this book is amazing. They did one of these giant sheets for each letter, turned it into some kind of animal. I just love it. How cute is that? It's like, where do I put it now? I'll just, I guess, keep it with the bin in her closet. Um, yeah, really cool. Okay, so this is all recycle. This is Celia's pile, this is Bryony's pile, and then I have some other things that I need to put away. Um, I don't know where their sc Celia's school pictures are. I gotta figure out that. 
So I went down and I printed out, I had already saved a bunch of photos from my phone. I use the app PhotoSync if you guys are interested to send um, photos and videos from my phone to my computer. I do it with YouTube videos all the time and it helps tremendously. It's a great app. I think it's free, I'm not exactly sure, but um, anyway, so I sent a bunch of photos to my computer and then printed them. These are wallet size. And then the first and last day photos I did four by six. So I'm gonna start using, I think I'm just gonna use double-sided tape to put them in the book. This turned out so cute. This is our little tower planter. I have strawberries on the bottom, two layers. And then I just bought these flowers for the top. I'm sure the girls will love. Good morning guys, it is Sunday. We had a really nice time with my parents at their house last night. Mom made strawberry shortcake. We had Chinese food. It's my favorite. The strawberry shortcake's my favorite. Like we have it once a year for my birthday and it's my absolute favorite. So that was really special. It's a rough night. Let's just say baby sleeping through the night. Three-year-old no longer sleeping through the night having nightmares. So that's been rough. I'm trying to navigate the right things to do because now nobody's getting good sleep and my morning time that's very important to me so I can be a good mom has drastically been affected so we're trying to figure that out but we'll see. <laughs> Parenting no phase lasts very long. The good phases and the bad phases so hopefully we'll get through this but Anyway, my plan for today is mainly to start packing. Um, I wanna get their clothes put away. I'm doing tons of laundry just to get caught up so that um, we have clothes to pack and we're not, you know, we still have clothes to wear the next day and a half and then we have clothes to pack and then packing up activities and stuff to do and stuff like that. So I will take you guys along as I'm packing these and hopefully it'll be a good day. I'm gonna make a triple batch of this pancake mix so I have enough for all month and then I'm gonna make myself some eggs and we have some leftover like cheese sauce sand made for some burgers and ground sausage. I just love that with eggs so I'm gonna make that for me. Pancakes for the month, pancakes for breakfast. And then here's my breakfast. I realized that what I thought was the cheese sauce was actually like a like a mac sauce or whatever, like um, for burgers, not cheese. So I didn't put that on. The girls are playing with their Playmobil like ice thing with this mat I made. Baby's down for her morning nap and I'm gonna fold our first load of laundry. Got a new canopy up this year, and so I'm gonna put the mosquito netting on to get that done. Got the canopy mosquito netting up, put some sandbags down on it, and we are gonna go in and cool off because it's like 100 degrees out here. Just gonna hang out in the much cooler playroom for a while. I got these giant, those big um, drawer bin things that we're using instead of suitcases came in these giant boxes and so they're using them as like bedrooms so I moved them out of the no, way. They're, they're our little beds for camping. Oh for camping. Time to fold laundry load number two. Gonna have a little muffin tin lunch with some random stuff. Pretzels, hummus, chicken nuggets, peppers, some string cheese, apples. Probably way too much food. They're probably not gonna eat all this but then Gwenny's having some chicken nuggets, some string cheese, peppers, some um, apple in her little feeder and some hummus on bread and then I just took some chicken nuggets with some cheese and made them into a little quesadilla with some peppers. Celia just went to a friend's house to go swimming at their house and the two little ones are down for a nap. Hopefully, hopefully we'll go to sleep and I can get some stuff done. So it's operation packing time. I'm gonna try to get all the girls clothes packed, my clothes figured out. Um, activities and like dry food like pantry food packed hopefully we'll get that done so i am not sponsored we pay for these ourselves but we've been using every plate for about 
month and a half now I want to say we've tried dinnerly we've tried HelloFresh we've tried Blue Apron just been trying different ones this one we've really liked the selection how quick the recipes are how easy they are for the price like it seems like a pretty good deal um, I have a code I think for $20 off your first order I also get $20 but like I said we we buy these with our own money it's not that's just what they give everybody who signs up um, so we actually are taking these along with us on our trip I just thought that was a great way to save time and money when you're going to stay in an Airbnb because it can get really confusing with trying to buy food you don't want to buy all the food when you get there and then have multiple so I just love that it's already pre-packaged so and you know the recipes are already made so those will be our suppers for most of the nights if we end up not making it we can just bring it home but um so I have like the box of all the dry goods for all the recipes right here and then we'll just grab the stuff for the fridge and put it in coolers right before we leave okay so this is what I'm bringing for activities slash books slash toys so I've got some baby toys here I've got magnetic dolls I've got a geo board these I don't think there's a blu-ray player I really want to watch some of music with the girls but we'll wait on that these make a face reusable sticker things they like some notebooks with a lot of blank paper and then a box of crayons got two of these seek and find or one seek and find one of this fashion sticker things spot the difference we've got some hidden picture highlights books puzzle books more of those some coloring books and then for games we have this ra raccoon rumpus it's the travel version we got it from chick-fil-a a few years ago they love that tenzi we've never played as a family but i I think we might be able to. Uno, Guess in 10, Animal Planet. Alphabet Go Fish is one of their favorites. And then this Anna Pull Upon Animal. And then I just grabbed a couple of these card holders that they use since they can't hold them all in their hands. I grabbed this like Tetris board thing and then a box of four different wooden puzzles. Etch-a-Sketch. So that's like all the activities. And then we have the only actual toys I'm bringing is this peg doll set, um, a mixture of stuff I bought on Etsy and Love Every, and then this camper from Love Every, and then this felt mat that I made. I figured they could play with this in many different ways. Um, it's open-ended. And then the only books I'm bringing are um, this Osborne Nature book, these two Osborne 1001 Things to Spot in Fairyland and the Sea. We're just finishing up number three of the Zoe and Sassafras book, so I grabbed number four from the library, so we'll bring that. This is one of our favorite five-minute storybooks. It's got quite a few girl stories in them. I thought we could read through the Little House picture book treasury. These Sleepy Time Tales are classic golden books. And then this Frog and Toad storybook treasure we haven't read yet. So I went for the treasury, so we're not like packing ten different books, and they're really heavy. So that's what I'm planning for activities. And then I also grabbed our nature bag, which I have a whole video on this. So when we go hiking and stuff, we have our nature journals. We've got bug spray, sunscreen, binoculars, magnifying glasses, first aid kit all in here. So the bottom one, I have the toys, the game, some of the activities. I've got the books, some more activities and coloring books and stuff. And then on the top, just some pull-ups just in case and diapers some nighttime diapers for gwen wipes some drool bibs and then gwen's pajamas okay so i gwen i pack a lot of outfits for because i don't from what i read there's not going to be like a washing machine on site so i'm hoping we wouldn't need to wash any clothes and she blows through clothes the fastest so um packing mostly hot summery clothes but a few like long sleeves and I need to get her like a sweatshirt I've got some sleep sacks I've got beach towels Ugh, I feel like we're not gonna have enough room in the van for everything we need so I got most of the girls stuff packed each girl has a drawer that's gonna work out perfectly and then I got pretty much all of our like dry food storage packed um pretty pretty tightly but we got it um, 
so hopefully that'll be good. I got all the every plate stuff just right there. So I'm hoping all three of those will fit in the van plus like a suitcase. Maybe we'll use the girls' suitcases. So we have two small suitcases for our clothes, each of us, one each, just so it can fit better. And then we'll have two to three coolers full of food probably. I don't know. Because uh, we just don't want to, we've done that before where we bought a ton when we got there. But then we bring it all home and we have like two ketchups and two mustards. And you know, I don't want tons of extra. I don't want to spend money we don't need to spend. Just hope we can fit it all in the van. Um, this would be a great time to have like a hitch on the van and have like a little, a little pod thing to pull behind. But I think we'll be okay. We'll make it work. The nice thing with our van is that it has like the stow and go seating. So like the seats fold down under the floor. And since they are going to be up, we have extra room under there. So we can always stuff stuff down there too, which is just so nice. Yeah, hopefully this will all fit, but baby and Bryony are up now, so Santa's hopefully coming home soon and we can have some family time. I think we're gonna do some kind of celebration for my birthday tonight as a family. We already like ate a little cake together and he got me a couple gifts, but we haven't done like a special dinner as a whole family, so I don't know if Santa was gonna make something, but part of me is like, I don't wanna I just want to like grab food. I don't really care. Honestly, I'm like, once you hit 30, like, I mean, I want to be celebrated and appreciated, but we, I don't really care. I look a little crazy. I took my lashes off a while ago, but I haven't like actually washed my eyeliner off. It is 8.30. It is 8.30. I actually just went for a 45 minute walk, which I needed. It's been a long afternoon. Um, we did up just getting Dairy Queen for supper so that we wouldn't have to like use up any of our food because we want to make sure we have enough for our trip. Um, so did that, did our whole bedtime routine, girls are laid down. And I had gone outside, oh, to get grab the Dairy Queen. I went to go get it at the drive-thru and I was outside and I was like, I've forgotten how much I just love being outside, I didn't forget, but like going out there in the afternoon, evening made me like, I really want to go for a walk. I love going for walks. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm going to try going for a walk after the girls go down. I've had trouble fitting in exercise any other time of day because I try to really focus on work during early morning hours and nap. And I have a hard time getting myself to exercise anyway for nap. And I really want to go for a walk and I can only do that if my husband's home. And so I thought, why not? Right after they go to bed, I will go for a walk. And so I did. I went for a 45 minute walk. One of my best friends is a very avid reader and I asked her for an audiobook recommendation. She recommended Undercurrents by Nora Roberts. So I started that, got the audible version and listened to that and it just felt really, really good. So I'm gonna shower. Um, I might watch a little bit of the next Gilmore Girls episode because Scott Patterson, who plays, who played Luke um, Danes in Gilmore Girls, is doing a rewatch podcast, and he's on the fourth or fifth episode now, and it comes out tomorrow, the next episode. So I've been rewatching with him, which is so cool. So anyway, um, I'm gonna shower, get ready for bed. The next video, I'm guessing you guys will see, will be of our vacation. Um, so stay tuned and like I said I'm not going to be doing tons of videos but I will be trying to do weekly preps or you know daily like day in the life vlogs here and there just to stay in touch with you guys and I can't stay away completely so um, that's my compromise with myself but I hope you guys are having a great start to your summer if it's summer where you live um, and I just hope all is well with you and your family thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye guys